Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we will continue to focus on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history, starting with the Stone Age. There are a lot of rules to this challenge and I'll put links to them in the description box below. It sounds like something that you're interested in. Be sure to hit that like button and if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes of this History Challenge. So let's make some Sims history. Ilsa went off the Granite Falls to talk to the nature spirit. And and thank the nature spirit for her fertility and ask the nature spirit for the healthy birth of her baby but she angered the nature spirit she is just returned from granite falls and she is incredibly stinky so i'm having her take a bath isles over here in the hut that ilsa and auger are in and she's noticed a disgusting puddle on the floor so she's gonna mop that up i think ilsa had an accident and that's why she's incredibly stinky so this is a puddle of urine that i just discovered aug is sleeping Sleeping. N has to uh, use the potty and I don't think he knows how to use the potty by himself. But he's gonna need potty help. Og's pretty rested so Og's gonna come over here and potty train. Little N, even though N is exhausted, we don't want him having a problem by soiling his nappy. If he soils his nappy, we're gonna have a filth issue. N is having a temper tantrum. His temper tantrum has woken up his brother. His brother is laughing at the situation. He thinks his brother's ridiculous. He's just gotta get out of the hut because he just can't stand listening to his baby brother cry and throw a fit. He is mad about the temper tantrum. Why won't the tantrum cease? Please somebody help. Ben has a social butterfly aspiration. He needs to make a new best friend forever and he needs to achieve social skill of five. He's gonna go try to calm himself down from the temper tantrum. Og is asking little N if he wants to use the potty and be potty trained and N looks like he's agreeing with this. So Og is over here and he is training his wife's baby because this is not his baby. This is a baby by some other male that she got pregnant with before she was even married to Ogs. It's important that you learn how to poop in a seat with a hole. It's a good thing because you won't soil your nappies. Okay, did he calm himself down? He did calm himself down. Now he's gonna practice his speech because he needs to get charisma level 5 and he's charisma level 3. Ilsa is very, very embarrassed but she's clean so she can get out of the tub. She did have a long journey so I'm going to have her come over here and uh, go to sleep. Isle's going to come over here and continue to work on her handiness. She's going to try to craft another dining room chair. We have three dining room chairs at the moment. She can probably make a whole set. And eventually her handiness will be good enough for her to make a toilet. Right now they are still using the privy rock. Ilsa says, I hope no one saw me pee on myself. And Symbilis has reached potty level 2 with the help of Og. He is really, really tired. He's really angry because he is so tired but we need him to go potty in the potty chair and not in his nappy so Og is trying to train him to do that. Ben's working on his charisma. I don't know if he has, knows any other children does he? Let's take a look. No, he's basically friends with Babu, and he knows no children his own age. I don't even know if there are children his own age yet out in the world. Og is feeling bad because he sees the little guy suffering. He's so exhausted, but you gotta make some uh, clay, and you gotta poop it out of your butt. Put it in that chair. It's very important. Once you're done that, you won't be soiling your nappy, and we can put you to bed. Looks like N has completed going potty. Little N is... Fussing, he doesn't want to be held. But Og is determined to read this child to sleep. Come on, let's get you into the bed so I can read you a story. Let me tell you a story. Let's see what story I'll tell you. Okay, let's go. This is a story about growing up. There was a castle out in the land where the music came from the walls of the castle. And the foxes, they listened and they heard the walls of the magical castle sing. And they wondered if a monster was living in the walls of the castle. But the cat said, no, there's no monsters living in the walls of the castle. Hmm, he never finished the story. He's thinking about the story. It looks like Isle has finished her chair, so we're going to have her craft another piece of furniture. And we will take that chair out of the inventory and put it over at the table so it can be used. Isle is determined that she will learn how to make a toilet for the adults. I know that children have potties. There should be potties for adults. I will learn how to make this thing. Og is thinking he's going to use a bath. Why do I need to use a tub when I can cast Scrubberoo? Ah, oh, I feel so much cleaner now. Ben is doing a great job working on his charisma. 
but I think he needs to learn some other skills. He could learn some mental skills. So Ben realizes he's been talking to this mirror for quite some time and he wants to be a little helper. He is going to go off and fish. He did see Og doing that, so he's going to go off and try to do what he saw Og doing, which was um, catch fish with a string and, uh, and a piece of wood. Looking around going, does anyone see me? I, I don't know how to fish, but I, I can figure it out. As long as nobody sees me, if I make a fool of myself, myself. Og just finished the forger stew and he's gonna clean that up. He's an angling ace. Aspirations, so I should send him off to fish as well. He needs to fish for five hours and it'd be good, good bonding between him and Ben if he goes over there and fishes. Ben's found the fishing hole that he's seen Og at. He, he can't reach the water. He's gonna fish with Og. Og was like, hey, I think I saw Ben going off in this direction. I should teach him the finer points of fishing when I get over there. Ben has reached mental level three. How's Isle doing? Isle's finished yet another chair. She is so good at handiness. I don't know if she can brew any herbal remedies. She can make a sadness alleviation potion. So once she's harvested these snapdragons after she's lit the campfire for no reason, she's gonna go work on her herbalism. It's been a while since she worked on her herbalism. They have a new grill for the early civilization era. It's made out of clay. They cannot put this grill in the house because it'll cause the house to catch on fire. So we still have to cook outside. She's thinking of fish. She's wondering how he's doing. Or she knew that Ola, Mag, and Fish were trying for another baby and she wonders if they succeeded. And she was successful in making a sadness alleviation potion. She is going to give that to Og. Ben Simbilis caught a new fish, the angel fish. Oh, it's an excellent quality. Yeah, we'll put that in the cold box. I could probably cook that up. Let's see what her herbalism is. Her herbalism is a level six, so I will have her make another sadness alleviation potion. She can't really do anything until she goes to Granite Falls and gets some more plants. Ilsa's almost rested up from her journey from Granite Falls, but she's pretty starving, so she's going to get up and... Oh my goodness, how far along is she? She is in her third trimester and she could give birth at any moment. We're hoping for a baby girl. It'll be the next heir to the Sibylla's tribe. Trying to make it a baby girl by eating strawberries because Aie told her to eat strawberries for a baby girl. She's not sure about it though. Those strawberries didn't really fill her up so she's going to go off and use the rock and then she's going to go find some food. Hopefully her mother has made some food. If not she's going to have to cook. Right now she couldn't cook if she wanted to because Isle is in the process of making a sadness alleviation potion which she completed. Ben Sibilis just caught a guppy. Og is having a great time. He's bonding with Ben over here. They're doing that grandfather grandson thing of fishing together. Come on, Og, you got it. Og caught a box that one of the time travelers tossed into the water. And it looks like there was an upgrade part from the future in it. I'll realize she hasn't fed the chickens in a while, so she's going to come over here and feed the chickens. And she is going to feed the grubs because they are famished because they've been neglecting the, the grubs. There you go, little babu. She hit some food. I don't want you famished. Come eat. Ilsa sees her mother feeding the chickens, so she's going to come over here and talk to her mother. Oh, oh, I really would love to garden right now, but I am so hungry. Maybe I'll go eat something. Isle is taking care of the grubs because she noticed that their health was declining and they need them for grub meal. It looks like the fish in the area are too crafty for Og. He needs to try fishing somewhere else or develop more skill. Or try using bait. I think Og is going to try to use some bait. He's thinking about his daughter, Anne, and he's going to fish with some bait. He's got some carrots to fish with. She's doing great nurturing the grubs. Hopefully their health will come back. Ilsa has found some forager stew. Notices another chair. She's like, oh, when that get here? Mother's been busy. Perhaps I should learn handiness. No, I don't like things like that. She's very, very energized after eating the forager's delight. So Og is trying to fish with a carrot, hoping that this will get better his chances on catching fish because he sees little Ben catching fish, but he's not having any luck. Ben is pulling something big in. Look at that. What's he got? What's he got? He got a time traveler box as well. He caught a coconut. He thinks he's gonna head back. He's getting a little tired. Ilsa's gonna clean out the dirty dishes. She saw a dirty dish when she was getting food and she's gonna clean that out. Isle's over here making food because she knows that there's no more food and she figures that people are going to start to get hungry. Ilsa sees her mother cooking so she's going to go over there and see if she can learn the recipe that her mother's cooking. 
This is really, really easy to make. Is it sweet, mother? No. It's a recipe the stone goddesses taught me. You take some spices and you throw it in the water. What are you making, mother? What did the stone goddesses teach you? It's the boiling frog hot pot. Doesn't it smell wonderful? I think I saw a few ch tips I could learn. Maybe I'll be a better cook. I'll be a good cook as you, mother. But I'm so tired right now. I am so exhausted. I don't know what to do. Oh, there's amazing fruits and vegetables in that, mother. Maybe you could eat that, and eating food would make you have more energy. It's because you've been traveling to Granite Falls. Every time I travel to Granite Falls, I get exhausted. But look how good I look from going there and back. I'm still healthy. Are there crabs in this stew, grandmother? Oh, it smells good, she says. I don't know if I would eat crabs, says Ben. Baby Ann is happily eating the frog hot pot. He's looking at little bits of frog over here. Ben's pretty hungry, so he's gonna grab a serving as well, and uh, Og is happily fishing over here. Og has fished for eight hours. He just needs to fish for two more for his aspiration. Hopefully he'll get his aspiration before he, he ages up and passes away. Og has lived for 162 days. Og is an elder. Og has reached fishing level five. Og is developing the mental fortitude and patience required to be a great fisherman. Og can now fish in any weather and can fish even when being a little uncomfortable. Ten or stressed. Og can now catch the butterfly fish. And it looks like Isle is pretty hungry as well. And the smell of the boiling frog hot pot is getting to her. So she's going to grab a serving for herself. She's feeling pretty playful. It looks like she got some sort of illness. She wants to stay in shape. Maybe she's been letting herself get out of shape with having all these babies. And she feels like she shouldn't be so tired just for going to Granite Falls. So she's going to work on her fitness a bit. Has Og actually caught any fish? No, looks like Og hasn't caught anything but electric upgrade parts, which we're going to sell because they don't have them at this time period. And we do have fictitious bills they have to pay. We're going to sell this lump of clay or else he'll get obsessed and play with it all the time. And that'll be money towards the fictitious bill. They are actually eating inside the eating hut at the table. They aren't sitting on a rock outside. Oh, that food smells so wonderful, mother. I can't wait to cook it for myself now that I know the recipe. Are you happy it's not raining, mother? Ben, ben seems pretty happy. I am so happy it's not raining, mother. And it looks like Isle is sick. She's got the tiger stripe sickness. We should probably send her off to bed so she doesn't make her daughter who's pregnant sick. She's gonna go isolate herself. Ilsa is feeling like her bladder's getting a little full and she doesn't want to pee herself in front of everybody. So she's gonna go off and use the rock. Ben's cleaning up like a good boy, trying to help out on the land so that they don't pull critters and such. Ben's washing those dishes like a pro. Little N is coming over to watch his big brother do something over here in the urn. Um, really good. I helped out the tribe. I cleaned up the dishes so that the dinosaurs wouldn't come. So Og is back and he's thinking that it's probably about time that N be put on the potty again. He's gonna go potty train N. He also wonders if the coop has been cleaned while she was away in Granite Falls, so she's gonna go check on that. But Ilsa has gone into labor, so let's get those baby bassinets out. Maybe she'll have twins. There is enough room on the property for her to have twins, so I'm gonna put two bassinets out. I don't think she's gonna have triplets. Let's uh, have her come over here and give birth to the babies after she cleans out that chicken coop. August asking... And if he wants to learn how to go potty, he is unaware that his wife is having a baby right now. Ilsa's coming off to have her baby. So let's follow Ilsa. See what, what type of baby Ilsa has. So Ilsa's going into labor. And it looks like she also has to go to the bathroom really, really bad. So hopefully she won't pee herself while she's giving birth. Ilsa has had a baby boy. And we're going to name it Og Symbolis because it's Og's child. So all those strawberries did not help her have a baby girl. Which means she's going to have to try to have another baby with Og. She's very, very happy. But she is going to have to breastfeed the baby because usually when they're born, they're really, really hungry. N is really angry. He is tired again. And he can't believe that he's being forced to go potty when he's so exhausted. Probably not liking Og now. It seems every time he has to go potty and he's tired, Og's the one that put him on the seat. If you go poop, I can put you to bed. I can finish that story about the singing castle walls. Would you like that? Yes, I would like that. I'll try to poop a little faster. 
It's good. It's very good that you're learning to do this. You won't poop in your nappy. Oh, uh, Ben is so full of energy because he had that boiling frog hot pot. But he is getting pretty tired. So he's going to go off to sleep in a minute. We are going to have to expand the baby hut. Let's see if we can do that before we put the baby in there. So let's go into build mode. We do have enough money to do this. So we could expand it backwards a little bit. There we go. And we're going to have to go up and uh, expand the roof. Right, that was pretty easy. And we'll put this unused bassinet back into the inventory. Once the baby's in the bassinet, we will move the baby. So the baby hut is a little bit larger. We'll have three boys in there. She's got a pee so bad. She just gave birth and her bladder is bursting. Mom, no! She doesn't want to pee herself, so she's going off to relieve herself. We're going to move the baby into the child hut, which is basically a nursery. Put the baby right there, and we will put the chair that Isle will made at the table. Now we got five chairs. Yeah, it looks like Og has done strange things with his arms as he's trying to put the baby to bed. He's holding the baby around by magic. Oh. And he puts him down on the floor so he can read him the story of the magical singing walls of the castle. <laughs> That's so funny. I can't believe I didn't finish the story. And so the walls, they sang their songs. And everyone in the world heard. And they wondered if it was a monster. It couldn't have been a monster because the walls weren't big enough to hold a monster. Everybody wondered why the walls of the castle were making music. Nobody in the kingdom was able to figure it out. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the Symbilis family on their journey through the early civilization era. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.